Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost. And today, we are recreating this gorgeous look on Rihanna done by none other than Priscilla Ano. I am obsessed with this look. Graphic liners is something that's super in right now. So I definitely knew from the moment that Priscilla posted this photo that I definitely wanted to recreate this look by Re. I wish that the Sephora would have had the actual liner in stock, but as you guys are gonna see in this tutorial, I had to improvise and just use what I had, but it made for a better tutorial because now I got to show you guys how to create this exact look using drugstore products. I, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created the drugstore version of this look, keep watching. Starting off with this NYX Pore Filler Primer. I have never used this primer before, but it worked so well with this Morphe foundation, so I'm glad that I gave it a try. This foundation is not new to my channel. You guys know I love the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. Honestly, after doing this look, I am in love with this foundation again. It blends out like a dream. If you guys are looking for an alternative from the NYX Natural Radiant Foundation, this is the one that you want to purchase. So I'll have that link down below along with the other products in the description box. For my contour, I'm using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Sticks in the shade Ebony Brown. You guys know this is also not a product that is new to my channel. Most of the products I'm going to be showing you guys aren't new to my channel because, you know, unlike a lot of other people, when I say I love a product, you guys are going to see me run it into the ground. But these foundation sticks blend out like a dream. I'm like obsessed with them. For concealer, I use my Morphe Fluidity Concealer. This is also not a new product to my channel. The only thing that I will say about this, if you don't move fast, this is not gonna be the concealer for you. Like literally this concealer dries down so fast, but it's so bomb. I just can't stay away from it. This is literally like my fourth tube since I purchased it towards what the summer of last year. But yes, this concealer is everything. So to help blend it out even more, I basically went back in with that same contour shade to help marry my concealer and my contour together. And obviously you guys can be using my beauty blender to blend the remaining parts out. Now I didn't show the blush, but you guys know I've been obsessed with this Elf Putty blush. I have been lying to y'all and telling y'all that this is in the shade Maldives and it's actually the shade Bali. So that's my bad, but Maldives is pretty as well. And I actually wanna find it and purchase it. So yes, that blush, everything. Now for my brows, you guys already know I use two products. I love shaping my brows with the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil just because it is a pencil. It does blend out better so it doesn't have that as harsh of a line as the brow pen does. And for my actual natural brow hair strokes, I like to use this NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Both pencil and pen are in the shade Espresso. This I don't care how many different bronzers I buy, I always come back to this Black Radiance palette. Like this palette is so bomb, y'all. Like I just, I can't even put it into words. It's the Black Radiance um, True Complexion Contour Palette in the shades Medium Dark. Now for my eyes, y'all know I also run the Ring the Alarm Palette into the ground. That's why I had to mix Alert, which is the orange shade, and Secret, which is like the brown shade, because uh, clearly y'all see I have hit plan, pan on Mugshot and Morphe and Jaclyn Hill just continue with this particular palette. So just find you a little warm brown shade and you know, do what you need to do. So to give more definition, because I did have to mix these shades, I am going back in with Secret with a smaller, more detailed brush. So that way I can create that nice, um, gradient effect and decrease that gre that gree who the hell is gree that re had another improvise I had to make y'all I was so mad I drove to Sephora and then all the other like beauty stores surrounding me after I realized that Sephora didn't have the liner that Priscilla used on re the I think it's like something cherry one of them liners that re has so that way I could actually use the products she used to create the look. So I had to get creative and use a lip liner that I had in my kit. So this is Hot Red by NYX. 
And you know, I just had to make it do what it do. But then, because this wasn't as intense as I needed it to be, I had to whip out this baby. I love this palette. I haven't used it much, but the shades are so freaking pigmented. So I'm using the shade Living My Best from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And literally everywhere that I place that red liner, I'm just going over it with that shadow to not only intensify the color, but to also set the shadow so that way it's not like moving all over my face. And when I tell y'all this liner stayed locked on until it was time for me to wipe it off later on that night, it worked like a dream. So to intensify my lashes even more, I'm using my e.l.f. No Budge Liner and just putting it in my waterline. And to blend everything together on my face, I'm using my Black Opal Oil Absorbing Press Powder in the shade Smoking Topaz, which is also a really good powder. Um, aside from the Sephora Micro Smooth and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. These lashes, y'all know I am an eye. Envy by Kiss Stan account. These lashes are so comfortable. They're so pretty. They're so natural looking. I love them. My clients love them. So if y'all haven't tried them yet, link in my description. Y'all have to check them out. Now, because I wasn't able to get that Fenty liner in red that reused for this look, I had to throw something Fenty in there. So I'm using a full frontal mascara for my bottom lashes. And then for my blush, I mix this bottom pink shade you guys see me pointing to, some of the orange, and then the third, both top and bottom mixed together to get kind of like this corally pinky color. And then also I did at the towards the end of the video use another like mixed blush that I didn't show on camera because I was like, you know, it's pointless at this point. I'll just let them know while I'm doing the voiceover. So yeah, that was what I used for blush to go on top of that Bali cream blush. For lips, y'all already know I used my Trendsetter Lip Liner from Morphe to line my lips. And then the lip gloss shade from NYX Butter Gloss line, I used the shade Butterscotch. This is one of the new uh, shades from that video that I posted. I'll put that down below in the description box. And then to carve out my cheeks even more, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Loose Setting Powder in the shade Peach to help define my cheekbones even more. And then you know your girl relaunched her lips and that's pretty much it this look was super quick and i hope you guys love it so this is it for the final look i hope that you all enjoyed this i tried to make sure that i used as many drugstore products as possible to create this look and for the most part i think i did except for the mascara because i wasn't able to find the eyeliner from fancy beauty i figured the least I could do was throw in the Fenty Beauty mascara. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.